Okay, in this video we're going to talk about something that a lot of people don't like doing, trimming the puppy's nails. A lot of people take their puppy to a salon or a groomer or have their vet's office do it. And I know of a lot of people that actually have to put the dog asleep or under before they trim their nails. Um, it's really unnecessary if you just spend a little bit of time using this exercise. Uh, your dog can actually like getting uh, their nails trimmed. Now, uh, 11, uh, as you can see, is almost asleep, and this is a wonderful time to do this. If your puppy has that energy surge or they're full of beans, this is not a good time to do it. Now, uh, we're gonna talk about trimming, but we're also gonna talk about handling your puppy, because a lot of people don't do these things when the puppy is younger, and then later on when the vet wants to look under the tail or check their teeth, the puppy freaks out because he doesn't have experience for this. So a handling exercise is really simple. I'm gonna have Anna, who's one of our puppy class instructors, help me out on this one. And what she's gonna do is she's gonna give the dog a treat while Anna and I'm gonna flip open its ear and look as if I'm inspecting the ear. So go ahead. So treat goes in the mouth, and I look in the ear. There we go. And treat, another treat. Treat goes in the mouth, look up the other ear. Um, the ones that you want to do, you want to handle their ears, you want to lift up their tail, you want to lift up their lips, and just get used to that. And as you can see, when they're really docile like this, you can actually do a lot of these things without necessarily giving a treat, but if your dog protests, give it a treat first. It's hard to do it when you're checking their teeth. Now, another one that you want to do is grabbing up the collar. So give her another one. Now, it'd be better if I'm going to have actually Anna do both of them. She's going to give a treat with one hand and grab the collar because it's important for the dog to see it coming. So go ahead and give her a treat and then grab the collar and then let go. So it's super duper simple, not that hard. Um, he also wants to check, we want to do the, uh, the nether regions. So we're gonna, I'm gonna hold her a little bit like this and go ahead and give her a treat. And I'm just gonna check out her area down here because that that's gonna look at here. And then we're also gonna do a stand and go ahead and give her another treat and we'll look under the tail. And again, we just want the puppy to get used to this sort of handling. You want to do these exercises, I would kind of alternate. Make yourself a little bit of a schedule. On day one, you do the ears. So just give her a treat and then look up this ear and hold it for a second or two because your vet's not just going to be like this. Your vet's going to be like this, looking at it. And so if the dog is protesting, you give an extra treat or two. Um, after a while, the puppy's like, oh, the humans are weird. They like handling me in certain ways. Now, the most difficult one is the genesis point of this article, or uh, this video, is the, uh, the nails. Now, the nails you want to do, you want to get on this right away. The quick, the pink part of the nail will grow out, and if you cut into it, it will hurt the puppy. It will make them not want to get their nails trimmed in the future, and it will actually, uh, and it will bleed. And we don't want to do any of those three things. Now, uh, uh, 11 here is a light-coated dog. Light-coated dogs, you can see their nails are translucent and you can see through them. I have a Dalmatian. If I have, they have a black spot here, the nail will be black and you will not be able to see into it. Uh, now you can use a trimmer. Uh, these are nail trimmers. My preference is to use a Dremel. Now a Dremel is like an emery file on a, on a basically a drill bit and it makes a sound. So you see that sound that, that uh, Levin heard. So to, uh, I'll, I'll start with this eventually. And the nice thing about this is you can round off the nail so they won't leave scratch marks on them if they do jump up on you. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is a similar sort of situation. Anna's gonna give a treat. So I turned the, the Dremel on while the treat went in the mouth and I turned it off before the treat was dissolved. So the dog only hears the, drum, uh, the, the uh, Dremel going when the treat's in the mouth. Let's do one more. So that time you saw I got a little bit closer. If your dog is spooked, you might have somebody uh, several feet away turning this on and off, but keep doing this until eventually your dog can hear it and will not, not respond. The next stage is go ahead and give her another one. I'm having her get the vibrations of it. So I just put it on here. And you can see she's comfortable with it. So we're going step by step. Now this is a Dremel. I got this from Dremel.com. Uh, this is, I've gotten several of these. This is the best one you get because, well, that I found because you can recharge the battery. Otherwise, you'll go through batteries like crazy if you put standard batteries in. All right, now to do the handling exercise, what we're going to do is Anna's going to go ahead and give a treat. And I'm going to hold up the paw. There we go. She's going to give another treat. This time, I'm going to hold up the digit. Now, she's pretty comfortable about it, so I'm going to go ahead and try to do a little bit of trimming. So, she gets a treat. And she wasn't ready, so I didn't clip. If I would have clipped there, I would have made it more of an issue. Go ahead and give her another one. So we're going to simulate, just going close. So this motion, there you go. Now I'm holding it here. Just a little bit off. So if you have a dog like her, you want to grab the white part of the nail. You won't be able to see too much of it uh, uh, from this distance. 
Um, and if your dog gets protesting, wait a sec. Let your dog settle down. That's nice and settle. Go ahead and give another treat. This is a process that might take you a week or two. Go slow. Take your time. If you rush it and your puppy has a bad experience, they will not want you to be handling them. Now, what you want to do after that is uh, go ahead and give her another one. That was too much. Go ahead and give her another one. Now, I'm just touching without, without being off. Can you hear that? Even though it wasn't on, she protested a little bit. Now, I don't want you to run away. And if your dog normally wants to run away, you would allow them. I'm not doing that right now because I don't want to run out of the shop. But uh, if your dog does want to run away, make sure you don't restrain like I'm doing here. I'm doing it here because it's, I'm not doing anything wrong. Uh, but if your dog feels like it needs to run, you restrain, you'll make more problems. Uh, so if your dog really protests, you might just do one nail. And then, and then pet your puppy, let her lick you a little bit, give her some love and attention, get her distracted, and then come back and do another one. And you might have to spend a week of just doing this and holding up the nail. Uh, now, one of the little tricks that I've found that is helpful is to do this and incorporate feeding. So instead of feeding treats like we are now, just give your puppy a piece of kibble and go ahead and do another one. There we go. Kibble, hold. Kibble, kibble, hold. Yes, I know. Kibble, hold. Kibble, hold. If, and again, you want to go slow and steady. That's really what we're looking. We want this to be boring, and the dog likes to do it. Taylor, who's filming this right now, I do this with her puppy, and he could care less. He just sits there and is like, whatever, paint the nails, and give me a nice color at the end. And so your dog can actually enjoy having its nails done. But I know of one dog, actually, uh, they put it under to trim its nails, and it actually passed away. And it's really, that's way too much to do for trimming a nail. If you do this and take its time, your puppy will be comfortable having your vet handle it and other people, if your puppy gets loose, grabbing the handle is comfortable and you can keep those nails nice and short. For your puppy's nails, you really probably should be trimming them about once a week, otherwise that quick will get too long. Well, uh, before everybody does what Eleven's doing right here, I'm gonna sign off. These are some tips and tricks you can use if you have a dog, uh, or to teach your dog that trimming its nails is actually not a bad thing.